Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It is episode 12, and your slightly exhausted Anon Jr. is uh, continuing his playthrough of Illusion of Gaia and referring to himself in the third person. Not usually a good sign. So... <laughs> Neither is missing one of the easy gems. If you if you watched the last episode, you'll know that we toured the Ink and Gold ship. We talked to everybody who found out all sorts of fun stuff about the ring and whatnot. And then we absolutely muffed up one of the gems. And in this game, if you miss it, there's no going back. So we reset the game. We redefeated the bad guy, uh, the big boss at the end of the last section. And... That, that ended up burning an extra herb that we didn't need to, that we really didn't want to use, but we did, and there it was. And um, now we're about to set this ship straight. So, we get woken up from our dream. We'll wake up. This is where the Inca were standing. You're back so late, the Elder must have read your fortune. He said that you were floating alone on the sea. I was so surprised. You were acting strange, so we followed you. Then we reached a strange town. Wait, don't call it strange. I was born there. It's invisible. I'd call that pretty strange. Will, you can't go on a journey without telling us. Since we're friends, we have to share good times and bad. Now, what a smart Anon Jr. would have done is immediately gone up this away to find Seth because he has the gem and as you saw if you trigger the next event you uh you end up losing Seth and the gem I found a strange jewel aboard the ship I'll give it to you Will gets a red jewel all right now let's go ahead and send this joker on his way to gem the jeweler all right it's the first time I've ever given you anything. Take care of it. Yeah, well, about that. Um, this is where the Inca were standing. This is where the Inca were standing. Uh, you're getting the sense that you kind of had a really weird, uh, weird experience. I keep hoping that one of the bodies might actually have something on it, though. Like a, a message or an item or something. Uh, it doesn't look like it, only because nobody says anything in any of the guides. But, hey... I was surprised. Oh, it's you, Will. Don't scare me. This is where the anchor were standing. This is where the anchor were standing. Yep. No. Okay. Um. Now head back into the cabin. Okay. And you know what? Before we do that, let's go down here. Just to triple check. And we get one more. This is where the Inca were standing. Two more. This is where the Inca were standing. And we've already picked up the uh, the chest. Yep. There's our statue on the top left there. Okay. So far, so good. We're back on track. We've already talked to these two. Yep. This is where the Inca were standing. This is where the Inca were standing. The queen's mummy sleeps silently. There's a gold ring on her long, slender, bony finger. That ring must be one of the artifacts put on the ship. This is the most valuable of all the artifacts. Many people have lost their lives trying to get rich by finding this ring. I want the ring. It's so pretty. I really must have it. Have you no shame? You could be cursed. And now bad stuff happens. What? I'm a little disturbed by the way the water's, you know, flowing at, up and down in the windows in the back. They, they seem to be rougher seas than I would have realized. Oh. Maybe it belongs to Riverson. In this part of the ocean, there are fish that are as dangerous as well as sharks. Um, what? <laughs> exactly. What? Okay. There will be sharks. Are you Okay. Um, ah! That's Seth. It's coming from the deck. What happened to Seth? 
something happened. Eee, it's Seth. A huge, enormous, giant fish ran into the ship, mumbling something about Jonah. Oh, wait, no. Uh, Seth fell into the water. Is he sobbing or is he calling him a sob? He was swallowed. What was that? At least I got the gem this time. Ah, it's the fish again. We'll all be dessert. Stop crying and grab this or you'll fall overboard. Uh-oh. And now we're back to the raft. This time with the correct number of jewels and gems. You've just come too? I've lost everyone. Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. You recover quickly, like a lizard's tail. Is that supposed to be a compliment? I've read about being adrift, but I've never thought it would happen to me. Disasters sometimes happen suddenly. Yes, sweetie. Uh, day eight at sea. Don't be upset. Don't think about the future. Let's just enjoy drifting. I'm starved. I'll have the meat I brought from the castle. Don't be upset. Oh. Am I supposed to, uh... Get that large roast? We bit off some of the meat. Hey, I'm trying to keep this family friendly. It was better than any food we've ever had. Well, when it's all you're eating. Drifting, day two. Doesn't feel like it. What are you doing, the poor fish? I'm trying to get us food. Beautiful. Even after seeing it all day, I still never get tired of it. Forget the poor fish. I want food. Sushi. Sushi. Sashimi? Time passed slowly, with nothing to break the monotony but whacking fish on the head with a flute. Kara just stared at the fish all day. Will couldn't stand it. He walked around on the raft and talked to Kara many times. A minute seemed like for You better believe that. But he could hear the march of time. Oh, when the time goes marching on. No, something like that. Drifting day four. Um, okay. I have a premonition. Help is coming. What? Something is adrift here. Yes, we are. I hope that jar has food. There was a letter in the jar. The contents read... We are on a ship on our way to be sold as forced labor in an unknown land. If anyone reads this, please save us. Sam. My premonition. You said you wanted to be saved, but it's me who needs to be saved. Oh, I am so starved. You should have caught that fish if you had. I can't hurt such a pretty fish. Are you saying it's better to starve? Raw fish gives me the creeps. I can't eat it, so add some garlic. Besides, the fish is fighting to stay alive. Fish feel pain? Have you ever thought of how the fish feels? I think of how the fish feels breaded. Does that count? If you want to eat it, go ahead. I'm not going to eat it. Okay. Uh, who?
Carrie didn't say anything all day. A typical princess. She's such a bother. Drifting. Day 7. First week, a school of fish. He reached the end of his rope. If he didn't eat more, he thought he would starve. Can I get some more health out of this? Oop. This is not the mini game I was hoping to play. Gamma. Yeah. Mm. Which one do you use named Nagiri? Sashimi? I don't know that many other sushi names. Hey, could, could one of you, like, kindly swim through some, uh... Sorry I talked to you that way yesterday. I'll try to eat the fish. I can't do anything if I starve. Only in peacetime can you refuse food you don't like. Let's catch a fish. A good one. Happily, Kara ate some fish. Will found that he was starting to develop feelings for Kara. Despite all evidence in the plot and dialogue. Drifting. Day 12. And also minute 12. Seriously, guys. The stars are beautiful. If I were taller, I could reach them. Surely Lily and Lance are looking at the same star-studded sky. If I could talk to the stars, I could find out where everyone is. There seems to be one extra star near the constellation of Cygnus. Yes, that red star. That's no star. Shall we make a wish upon that star? I have a feeling it'll come true. When you make a moon. Okay. Will, you close your eyes too. <clears throat> I hope for everyone's safety and for my father. Drifting. Day 812. We've been adrift for almost three weeks now. Hasn't your hair gotten a little long? Just a little? Carrie doesn't act like a spoiled princess now. If you told someone she was one of the island girls, no one would doubt it. It's terrible. What is that? They're in the water. Oh, we need a... Uh, dun 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 can't kill them? They're circling our raft, but they're not attacking. Let's think about this. No, let's not think about this. Let's whack them now while we can. I hear shark is tasty. Oh, oh, doggone it. I missed the dialogue because I was trying to do the charge attack. Then what we're doing is not unusual human behavior. We didn't eat fish until we were starving. That's right. They're going. Goodbye, sharks. What? That, I... Okay, fine. Whatever game. Go drunk. Your home game. Drifting. Day 21. Missing dialogue because I'm pushing buttons waiting for the scene to get over with. When I was in the castle, I loved watching the sunset. The sunset was so beautiful from the corridor of the castle. But now I've come to hate it. After the sun is set, the darkness comes. I thought I'd never see the sunrise again. But since you're with me, I see a beautiful sunrise every morning. With you by my side, I can even enjoy times like these. Is this Stockholm Syndrome? I've wanted to say the same things to you, but somehow the words just wouldn't come out. I just nodded and said nothing. Because they didn't write any dialogue. Suddenly, Will fell over unconscious. 
and narrated for himself. Will, Will, what's wrong? Wake up, don't leave me here alone. Hmm. Okay. You can wake him up now. He'll be fine if he takes vitamin C. Our touch of the scurvy over the week. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. It's scurvy, a disease caused by a long-term lack of vitamin C. You mean fish aren't rich in vitamin C? Hmm. Columbus's crew contracted at once. Nothing to worry about. When it gets worse, the blood gets bad and the skin turns black. The gums bleed and the body starts decaying. Stop! I don't want to listen to such talk. Ha ha ha, I'm glad you're okay. But you know best. Thank you. Wait, what? That makes... I, I know I'm tired, but that makes no sense. You should thank the dog outside. He found your raft and came to get... Did the dog fetch my... Like, like seriously, we survived the, the near starvation, eating the raw fish... Uh, the shark circling, and then Fido come out and towed a raft. Fine. Whatever. Will, wake up. We've reached land. We're saved. Uh, one more hour? No. Where am I? We're at the home of the kind man who saved us. You've been tossing in your sleep. I kept putting the blankets on you, but you threw them off. Okay. This is the south outskirts of Oakton. The city of Phrygia is half a day to the north. Phrygia. I wonder if that's a, an intentional misspelling of Phrygia in Greece. Because uh, again, the game does seem to go through a lot of effort to get um, to get some location name, you know, real world locations in a lot of the game. Like I wonder if South Cape isn't supposed to be Cape Town. I think I made that uh, unintentional. Uh, verbal gaffe earlier in the series and, and so you know it wouldn't surprise me if that's supposed to be Phrygia um, and they were worried about people pronouncing it so they just called it Phrygia I don't know if you're looking for your friend you should look in a big town okay I'm jumping off the bed well, okay then you should thank the dog outside he found your raft and came to get me uh, actually Oh, are you kidding me? Did I do this again? At any rate, let's go to Phrygia. I'm going to thank the dog. Come back when you're ready. Okay, good. You moved out of the way. Because in that pot there... In that pot there? Uh Oh, no. Outside the house. In the pot on the right. There's the red jewel. Sweet. I was worried about that. He raised the red jewel. Dun, dun, dun. And there it goes. All right, now. Ooh. Okay. So, there's... There's no... There's no place to get to Gaia and save the game anywhere nearby. So uh, there's a little bit to explore here, but not that much. And I know I don't want to. I don't want to get too far into it with uh, as f where we've gotten. Um, yeah, because the only thing the only thing written down is just finding that gem, and then it's going to take us over to uh, Phrygia. Where we can start picking up some extra stuff, including uh, we can finally get our strength bonk from Jim the Jeweler. And but I don't want to I don't want to trigger more dialogue that I'm ready to to handle and pause. So with all that said and done, um, this is where I say thank you for joining along. If you're watching live on Twitch, that's it for the evening. 
And if you're watching on YouTube, follow on Twitch if you haven't already. That way you get notified when I go live. I stream almost every Tuesday and Thursday at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. I do Coffee Craft, a Minecraft Let's Play server on Tuesdays. I do this on Thursdays. And it's a different uh, classic game revisited. So this go around is Illusion of Gaia. And who's what we got next? Um, come watch enjoy you can chat along with me live as we go you'll also get some of the in-between episode banter and stuff that uh, that that you don't get when you watch just the produced episodes so definitely come follow along that way you'll know when i go live and subscribe on youtube if you haven't already odds are uh, based on the views you're probably watching this on youtube instead of watching it live that's cool that's fine just make sure that you subscribe that way you'll get notified when new episodes live stream archives and various other bits get posted you've heard all this before so i won't belabor likes and all that you know you know how to help the channel out thumbs up all that good stuff and uh if you can, consider supporting the show. I'm pretty much running this whole thing out of my back pocket. So if you're enjoying the content, if you're getting value out of it, then consider going to live.anonjunior.com and giving a little value back. This is a straight up value for value transaction. So only if you're getting value out of this content, go to live.anonjunior.com and consider giving a little bit back. It'll take you to my Streamlabs page where you can tip, donate, whichever way you want to think about it. And even if it's just enough, for you know another cup of coffee that would be awesome and uh with all that said and done thank you for joining along and i'll uh, if you're watching the live streams i'll see you next week if you're watching on youtube uh when this airs the next live stream will be the next day you know think about it see you